We are excited to discuss with you today our article, Screening and Referral Practices for Autism Spectrum Disorder in Primary Pediatric Care. Although Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, can be reliably diagnosed during the second year of life, the average age of diagnosis in the U.S. is over four years. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that general pediatricians screen for ASD at all 18 and 24 month well child visits. While many of them do, there remains an average lag of 2.7 years between parents' first concerns and eventual diagnosis. Identifying factors that lead to this delay in diagnosis following a field screening is critical to lowering the age of ASD diagnosis and facilitating entry into therapies that are most effective during the preschool years. Previous studies looking at rates of ASD diagnosis in children who failed ASD screening were conducted in controlled settings where every child was offered a timely autism evaluation with ASD specialists. Our study is the first to take an in-depth look at pediatrician practices in a real-world setting. Specifically, we examined referral patterns following a failed screening with the Modified Checklist for Autism in Toddlers, or MCHAP, among pediatricians in the largest network of pediatric practices in the U.S. 530 children who failed the MCHAT at the 18 and or 24 month well child visits were followed up to four years to determine how many received an autism spectrum disorder diagnosis. Although pediatricians within the network referred for interventions, including early intervention and private therapies, only 31% of children were referred to a specialist for an ASD evaluation. Among those who were referred for an ASD evaluation, only about half of those families followed through with the referral, and many required multiple referrals. Despite high rates of ASD screening at 18 and 24 months, screening alone did not translate into earlier identification of ASD. 69% of children who failed screening were never referred for further evaluation and there was no evidence that providers were evaluating for ASD themselves. Our study supports that timely ASD screening in combination with appropriate actions following a failed screening can lower the age of diagnosis. Children who were referred to a specialist at the time of the failed screen were diagnosed an average of 16 months earlier compared to children referred after 24 months. Although developmental screening tools can identify children at risk for neurodevelopmental disorders, physician practices following a failed screening directly impact timely receipt of diagnoses and commencement of appropriate interventions. Given long wait times for autism specialist evaluations, general pediatricians should be encouraged to obtain additional information regarding the child's development and parents' concerns. Using the MCHAT follow-up interview may assist in this process. When criteria for ASD are clearly met, general pediatricians should be empowered to make the diagnosis. This may require more education about ASD during training, as well as clinical supports in practice. Autism-specific screening alone does not decrease age at diagnosis. Appropriate referral and diagnostic actions guided by clinical judgment are required at the time of failed screening.